All right, well, let's move on here because the biggest names in tech, they're in Las Vegas this week for CES. One of the big headlines so far, Roku announcing its own TV line. Ali Garfinkel is in the middle of all that action at the conference live in Las Vegas. Ali, what can you tell us? It's great to see you, Shauna. So first things first, this is a move on Roku's part that has been rumored for some time. And it's important to say there's actually range. They're coming out with a range of TVs. So there's a lower end, there's a higher end. And the price range is also equally wide, right? You have TVs that are going to be moving for about 119 and TVs that are going to be moving for 999. So, you know, it's important to say this is happening for Roku on the heels of a really difficult year. Of course, you just mentioned layoffs. Roku, another company that did layoffs substantially this past year. They also, their shares are down 81% last I checked a couple, like about, about half an hour ago, as in the last 12 months. So it's been a difficult time for them, but they, they came out to see yes, and they were really making a show of this big move for them, frankly. So lots of new tech there on display, Ali. What else do you have your eye on? Autonomous vehicles are pretty big here, Dave. Now, that means a lot of different things, first of all. But there's also, you know, there's a lot to say about data here. Now, what does that mean, really? I, I talked to a couple different companies about this, and one of them was Mobileye. For example, what they have is 120 million vehicles on the road that have their tech in it. Now, what does this mean? It means they're using driver assist to, and computer vision to create the data that will make it possible for vehicles to be more autonomous. We also saw it worked with another company called Ava, the semi truck that you see that you're going to see at some point up there. That is an autonomous semi truck. It's autonomous because it has LIDAR 4D. Now, what does that actually mean? It means that they can actually determine the velocity of something coming in your direction. And that data is really important when it comes to making these autonomous vehicles safe. Because while autonomous vehicles have made headlines, they're also incredibly scary to a lot of people and a lot of people fear them and the thing I've learned here Dave I would say is that the road to autonomy is paved with data no doubt about that it is frightening to conjure up an autonomous semi on the roads, but with the shortage of truck drivers that needs to happen in the years ahead Ali Garfinkel thanks so much we'll check back with you next hour